Hey guys, Dr. Nate here, and this is a subject I love talking about because it has a lot to do with orthodontics, and it is our veneers. Worth it, these aren't veneers, but I just pointed to them. Right, so you are Googling this, you're YouTubing this because you are wondering a little bit about veneers. You're saying, are they worth it? What are they? What's the procedure? Let me talk to you all about that. What are veneers? Veneers are basically just this kind of thin layer of porcelain that you're gonna be putting on the teeth. Most of the time, you're gonna remove a little bit of tooth structure, not a ton, like a millimeter or two, depending on what the area is, remove that tooth structure and then you put the veneer, you put the porcelain on that tooth. The procedure is very easy, but I'm gonna walk you through it here in a second. But in general, you're just sticking something on the front of the tooth that is very aesthetic. So that's why when you look at all those celebrities, you know, there be, they'll look like kind of all crazy before. And then like two months later, they're like, ooh, beautiful, perfect smile. Most of the time that's either crowns or veneers. It's not this, like something miraculously happened. That is probably crowns or veneers. So crowns and veneers can make your your teeth look beautiful very quick. Who is a candidate for veneers? Who should get veneers? Most of the time we say, I think, getting your teeth nice and straight and pretty and whitening your teeth is the best way to kind of make you have that beautiful smile. But some people get their teeth nice and straight, they whiten them and their teeth are still not that very nice. And that's because the tooth shape or color is just how it is. That's how they're made. So if you whiten and you straighten and everything still doesn't look that good, you're a great, great candidate for veneers. If the teeth are super discolored, maybe they're yellow or gray or brown, and that's just how they are, great candidate for veneers. So you may be a good candidate for veneers, but who is a bad, terrible candidate for veneers? That is people who are a really hard bite, they brush, they, they constantly grind all over the place. They might not be the best candidate for veneers. If you have active decay, veneers are not for active decay. They are just a cosmetic thing. If you have, you know, you need fillings, you need crowns, you need root canals, deep cleanings, you probably probably should not get veneers. If your teeth are really, really all over the place, they're super duper crowded, also probably not a good candidate for veneers because they just have to prep so much of the tooth in order to make your teeth look and appear straight. If you have really, really bad gum disease, you may also not be a good candidate for veneers because the teeth have to look so long to make it look kind of pretty. So those are kind of like the top four things I'd say that make you a not good candidate for veneers. So there's two main types of veneers. There's your typical one that you've probably seen all the time. Those are the porcelain veneers, they look amazing. Then there's number two, something called composite veneer. So composite veneers are a little bit less well known. They're not done as much, but if you have a super talented dentist, they can do an amazing job. Those are very few and far between, but there are a few that can do an amazing job with just composite veneers. Those are really cool because you don't really have to do much for you. You don't have to prepare the teeth. You don't really have to do anything. The dentist this is just kind of gluing this tooth colored material on your teeth. It's the same type of material that they do for clear or white fillings, same material. They're just putting it on your tooth and shaping it in such a way that your tooth teeth look beautiful. As you can tell, that's the dentist doing it probably chair side with you there. So they have to be extremely talented to give you a great result. That is why the majority of time people are doing porcelain veneers. Downfall of porcelain veneers is most of the time you have to prepare the tooth a little bit. You have to take a little bit of it off. Whereas the composite veneer you don't most of the time have to do that. That's a great advantage. It is just very hard to find a good dentist who can do an amazing job of composite veneers. And most of the time they don't last as long as a traditional veneer or a crown. All right, so you're like, Dr. Nate, I fit all the criteria. I think I'm a great candidate for veneers. I have, my teeth are yellow or they're really gray or they're kind of slightly misaligned, but nothing crazy. I want veneers. What is the procedure? How does this work? Let me tell you, it's a little bit more intensive than the majority of things, but that's because it's for aesthetics. You want to get an amazing aesthetic result. You don't want to put these veneers on and you have like buck teeth and look all like Bugs Bunny or whatever. It is very important to get this done precisely correct so that you're happy with your result. So how it works typically at our office, you'll come in, we'll take the x-rays, we'll take pictures, we'll make sure everything looks all nice and pretty. We'll talk to you about your outcomes, potentially you've seen some teeth that you really like. We're saying, hey, is this possible? We kind of go back and forth and see if it's good. And then we'll take an impression of your mouth and we will send it off to the lab. Why do we do that? Because the lab will then, we'll send it to the lab, but it's going to come back and it's going to give us a model of what your teeth can look like. And we do this because it's super easy to modify it at that point. Not so easy to modify it when we're about to cement it. So you get it, your second visit, you come back, we say, hey, this is what the teeth are going to look like. What do you think? And you're going to go, oh, this looks really good. But you know, that edge, I think that's too sharp or not sharp enough. And this tooth is too long or short. And you go, cool. We make the adjustments. We send it back to the lab, get it back. Okay, cool. The next time we, we look at it, we say, huh, this looks really good. And then the dentist goes, cool. If you're happy with this, I'm going to start preparing your teeth. So we will know that if you want it to look like this, 
we have to prepare X amount. And that's how it works. You can't just go into the office and say, cool, I want my veneers. And the dentist just starts preparing it and next visit you get it. If they do, that's not a good way to do it. Most dentists who do veneers often or want a really good result, don't do that. So don't expect to go in there. First visit, they start preparing. Second visit, you get your veneers. That's super rare that it works like that. Most of the time you come in, we take the impression, get it back, judge it. We want to give the thumbs up and we send it back to the lab for the permanent ones. So in general, you're gonna have at least three visits. Three visits. First visit, you come in, we talk, we take an impression, send to the lab. You come back and we have the mock-up of what it looks like. You think everything's good. We start preparing the teeth at that time. And then you will actually walk out that visit with temporary veneers. Not your permanent ones, temporary ones. So they'll look pretty good, but they definitely won't look as good as a final result. Then you go and we send it off to the lab. The lab gives us back the permanent ones you come back in for your third visit at least, right? There may be more depending on how many back and forth you go with the lab. Your third visit and we cement those. We actually kind of put them on the teeth to make sure you're happy first and then we cement them and that's it. You walk out with this beautiful new smile and then it's on you to maintain them. How do you maintain your veneers you say? Well, it's kind of similar to what I've been telling you all along. Just because you have veneers, just because you have crowns, just because you have fillings doesn't mean you can't get another bacteria seeping underneath that and causing more more decay. So if you have veneers, just like your normal teeth, just like crowns, you need to treat these things amazingly well. So you want to brush, floss, come to your regular dental visits, and just keep them as clean as possible because just like crowns, bacteria can seep underneath the veneers and then cause decay. And if it causes decay, not very good. Those things are going to pop off and everybody's going to be upset and it's not good. And that is just not good. The other thing you should likely do is have something called a night guard. Because what happens is at night, we're all stressed out, things are crazy, and you start grinding your teeth a little bit. And if you grind too far forward, you can pop off the veneers. Popping off the veneers is not good. If you do it and it's been early enough and everything kind of works out properly, maybe they can cement it back in. But if you fracture it or pop it off in a weird way, they're gonna have to redo the whole thing. So you really, really, really wanna protect those veneers. So if you know you are a grinder, then that's like a no brainer. You have to have to get a night guard so you can keep your veneers as long as possible. So you're like, okay, Dr. Nate, I think I know the procedure. I know I need them. How many do I need? That is obviously a very personal decision. Everybody's gonna be different, but most of the time you want to be able to have a beautiful smile. So if you smile and you only show like four teeth, then you probably only want those four teeth done. But most people show at least their front six teeth and maybe their front eight teeth on the top at the very least. On the bottom, it may be the same. It just depends on your personal preference. People for sure do the front four at the very minimum. Most likely the front six or front eight. That is gonna make you have that nice, beautiful smile because nothing is worse than having like two teeth that look really good or three teeth or whatever that look really good. And then the other ones are kind of off. It just isn't gonna look good. So if you're gonna do it, know you're gonna invest a little bit more money, but you're gonna make the teeth look really nice and beautiful. So how much is that gonna cost you? Because veneers aren't cheap. They're cosmetic things. So more most of the time, insurance covers about that much of it. They don't cover anything, and it's gonna be all out of pocket. Majority of the time, if you're doing a multiple, if you're doing more than one, you're gonna get some sort of discount, but be prepared to spend on average $1,000 per veneer with insurance covering $0 of it. So you have to prepare for that. There's a lot of different ways to do it. You can obviously you have that saved up. You can put it on a credit card if you just save up you know, monthly, then you're gonna be able to give it to the dentist at that time. But there's other ways like care credit. There's different ways to finance the veneers, but be prepared to spend at least about $1,000 just per tooth. All right, let me break it down again. Let me break down the pros and cons of getting dental veneers. The pros is they look amazing. You know, they're gonna give you that bright, beautiful smile. You can choose the shade. If you have yellow teeth, if you have gray teeth, you're gonna make them look super nice and white and pretty. They can last a while. And it's, it's a general, a pretty comfortable, pretty easy procedure. What are the negatives? What are the cons? The cons are just like your crowns, just like pretty much everything we're doing in the mouth. Nothing lasts forever. So these veneers may need to be replaced every 10 to 15 years. They're definitely, definitely not permanent. They're not covered by insurance, so they're actually pretty expensive. And you also need to maintain your oral health like perfectly. If you brux, if you grind, you may pop them off and that may incur more costs. So you have to be prepared for all the cons as well as the pros and weigh them out yourself and see if 
this is something you're interested in doing. Or if you're like, eh, I don't mind my teeth right now. Maybe I'll just get them straight. Maybe I'll widen them first and then see how it goes from there. So in conclusion, you know everything there is to know about veneers. You know the cost, you know the procedure, you know the pros and cons, you know if you're a good candidate for it. And now you know where to go. Thrive Dental. There you go. <laughs> little plug. So this is it. That is everything you need to know about um, dental veneers. Once again, I'm Dr. Nate. I am providing all this information. I am trying to put out videos every single week to help inform our patients and everybody on the YouTube. So please leave your comments below. Please subscribe below. And I look forward to our next video and I will see you then.